Ladies and gentlemen, in 2017, the Supreme Court of India delivered what was a historic judgment. It banned political parties and candidates from seeking votes in the name of caste, in the name of religion, in the name of language. It was, of course, a right-minded decision. But was it way too far removed from reality? Reality is, in India, when we cast our vote, we vote our caste. Caste, like religion, is integral to our politics. Caste is sentiment. Caste is policy. Caste is the bedrock of identity politics and it becomes indispensable in an election year. And we are in an election year. Now, the largest caste in India is the OBCs with some 4,000 subcastes. No one is quite sure about what the percentage of the population they form since the census of India does not collect that data. But various caste surveys indicate that OBCs are more than half of India's population. Which means, as a bloc, they are politically very, very powerful. They can make or break elections. So we have opposition rule states promising a caste census. Bihar has already done it. Reasoning is, we will give you benefits and reservations in proportion to your numbers. That is the pitch of the India Alliance. For the BJP, their biggest OBC champion is the Prime Minister, who himself belongs to the Teli caste. Today, Rahul Gandhi questioned that very fact and set off a full-blown political Mahabharat. Take a look. Nehru ji said that if SC, ST, OBC ko नौकरियों में आरक्षण मिला तो सरकारी काम का स्तर गिर जाएगा अगर उस समय सरकार में भर्ती हुई होती और वो प्रमोशन करते करते आगे बढ़ते तो आज यहां पर पहुंचते सभापति जी ये कोर्ट में पढ़ रहा हूं आप वेरीफाई कर सकते हैं मैं पंडित नेहरू का कोर्ट पढ़ रहा हूं So essentially, Rahul Gandhi is saying that the Prime Minister was not born an OBC but made himself one after he became the Chief Minister of Gujarat in 2021. Is that really true? Well, the BJP did a fact check and said Rahul Gandhi is lying. They put out a gazette dating back to 1999 and said that Thales were notified as OBCs a full two years before Modi became the Chief Minister of Gujarat. The Chief Minister back then was not Modi, it was the BJP's Keshubai Patel. And so the battle continues. Prime Minister Modi has dragged in Rahul Gandhi's great father, who died 60 years ago, to make the point that the entire Nehru-Gandhi clan is anti-reservation. Also, all of this points to one thing clearly. Yes, the 2024 election is about Modi's chemistry with India. But to some extent, it will also be determined by caste arithmetic. Let me go across to my guests this evening for a very quick chat. Anuja Kapoor is spokesperson of the BJP. Karan Verma is author, is an author joining us on the broadcast. Samar Ram Mohan Reddy is spokesperson of the Congress Party. Good to have you on the show. And Sanjay Jha is an author joining us on the broadcast as well. Can I just start with uh, Mr. Reddy and ask him, Mr. Re Mr. Reddy, what exactly provoked Rahul Gandhi's statement on the Prime Minister? He's now been fact-checked. And you have nothing to say. The Congress has been completely silent on it. Your intention was very clear. Had Modi been the OBC, say right from the beginning, that is from his birth, hmm. had he suffered that, then definitely would have acted in their favor in this, uh, you know, 
10 years of span as prime minister. But he didn't do that. That was our intention. If had he been the OPC, had he suffered what the economically or socially backward classes, what they had suffered. He was the general secretary in BJP at the national level. And his government was there in the national level. So all these cash census were included in that in that year. Our intention was very clear. He, he is not acting in favor of OBCs, despite saying OBC again and again. No, Mr. Reddy. So there should be some action, right? In favor of them too. Why wasn't there any cash census? Nee, nee, Mr. Reddy. Into 2021. Mr. Reddy. No, Mr. Reddy, let's not talk about the cost census right now. Look at the charge that Rahul Gandhi has made. And if you want, I will repeat that charge. If you want, I will ask my producers to pull out the full soundbite of what Rahul Gandhi has said during his Nyaya Yatra in, uh, in Odisha, and we'll play that out. I'll play that out in exactly 30 seconds, as in when my producer tells me that that bite of Rahul Gandhi is ready. I want to ask you, Rahul Gandhi is saying, what is Rahul Gandhi saying? He's saying the, the prime minister was not born in OBC. In fact, let's listen, listen, listen into that soundbite once again. सबसे पहले मैं आपको बताना चाहता हूं नरेंद्र मोदी ओबीसी पैदा नहीं हुए थे इसे सुनो नरेंद्र मोदी जी तेली का सुनो भैया मैं बहुत गहरी बात बोल रहा हूं आपका लोगों का आप सब लोगों का भयंकर बेवकूफ बनाया जा रहा है सुनो 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 मैं जो बोल रहा हूं नारे मन करो आप लोगों का भयंकर बेवकूफ बनाया जा रहा है नरेंद्र मोदी जी ओबीसी नहीं पैदा हुए थे नरेंद्र मोदी जी टेलीकास्ट के गुजरात में व्यक्ति पैदा हुए थे उनको उनकी कम्युनिटी को बीजेपी ने दो हजार साल 2000 में ओबीसी बनाया आपके प्रधानमंत्री ओबीसी नहीं पैदा हुए आपके प्रधानमंत्री जनरल कास्ट पैदा हुए और ये पूरी दुनिया में झूठ बोल रहा है कि मैं ओबीसी पैदा हुआ मिस्टर रेड्डी मिस्टर रेड्डी व्हाट मिस्टर गांधी सेड इज फैक्चुअली इनकरेक्ट राइट do you accept that it's factually incorrect? I, I will agree with you if you say that what we were trying to say is that he was not born in OPC. Okay, I will agree with you. But factually, Mr. Gandhi is wrong. When he says that Mr. Modi made himself an OBC after coming to power, that wasn't true. That was factually incorrect. Who was the chief minister of Gujarat during that time? BJP's Keshubhai Patel, not Narendra Modi. In fact, he was referring to the you know uh, government which was in place at the national level. It was BJP then, right? So he was referring to that. But, but you know, know, he had mentioned that as a CM in Gujarat. But in fact, that was the power. Who was in power in uh, central level? It was BJP then. So that was his intention. So if there are so any... So Atal Bihari Vajpayee... Which need to be... Atal Bihari Vajpayee... the points. So look Atal at the Bihari Vajpayee, who look was the, the Prime Minister, said Mr. Modi now needs to be made an OBC. And therefore... You know, he's the no, one no, who intervened the, and no, got the Teli the, cast put uh, put in the OBC category. The this doesn't now. like this doesn't tie up with logic. Kindly look at the intention now. If I just want. I... Out of 89 secretaries in Modi's government, how many people belong to OBC community? Zero. Epic zero. There were two SCs and one ST. And OBCs were zero. So where is the priority for OBCs? That was our intention. In spite of calling himself that he belongs okay. to OBC, when somebody comes up and speaks about the rights of OBCs, he says there is no need of any cause. When we highlight their problem, okay. he just runs away. Anujak but when it comes to elections, he just wanted to play the card okay. of OBCs. Why? We just would like to you know, expose this fact that he's never favored OBCs. Apart from claiming himself as OBC. Okay. Anuja Kapoor? Okay. Anuja Kapoor just respond to that. They say, forget the facts. Mm. Look at the sentiment we were trying to convey that this Prime Minister considers himself an OBC. 
Uh, it's not really the case. He was born into an upper class family. Now he claims he's an OBC and he's really done nothing for them. So they are saying, forget the facts. Look at the sentiment we were trying to communicate. Shriya, Jay Shri Ram, good evening to all my viewers and to the, my panelists. So now uh, one of the panelists from uh, Congress, you think uh, Atal Bihari Vajpayee ji was a predictionist and he knew that in coming years, Modi ji will become the prime minister. So he created a prediction before and he chose Modi ji from the crowd of BJP and he put it in the gadget. Are you listening what you're saying? So you're trying to put this thing in your, the put in your mouth by saying that we are the predictionists and we know beforehand only and we try to put them in the gadget in our own times. The caste of Rahul Gandhi, I can, may I ask? What is the caste of Rahul Gandhi and what is the family tree of Rahul Gandhi? And is he actually a Gandhi? He is, we all know. Okay. Gandhi, we all know. Uh -huh. Pandit Nehru got married, and what is the caste of Rahul Gandhi? Things which you can't handle, sir. What Modi ji says is Sapka Saat, Sapka Vikas, Sapka Prayas, or Sapka Vishwas ke Saat. We are talking right now, so I would like to ask okay. one thing. I really wanted to ask How's the Josh? Congress? This is the, uh, on uh, September 22, 20, 2023. I'm giving you that. From uh, OBC MLA, they are, mm. they are 365, 27%. Mm. MLCs are 163, 40%. OBC is a constitutional post now. Sorry, you don't know that. And uh, PV Bas yeah, Vishwakarma scheme Which was also being that, founded by us. Which commission that? Okay, okay, okay. Munda was founded by us. Anuja, you've made your point. Rahul, Rahul Gandhi ji ki caste bata ta Anuja. Ta. What is his caste? And so Mohan Reddy. Uh, 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 okay, uh, Anuja, Anuja and Mohan Reddy, please. Le let's, theek hai. Okay, I think, you know, we can't help it. If the two protagonists in the story have made this personal, Mr. Jha, how can, uh, you know, we ask our panelists not to make it personal? Because this has been made personal by Rahul Gandhi and before that, Prime Minister Modi. Was this a boo-boo? Do you consider what Rahul Gandhi said today a boo-boo? Or do you think that was a de deliberate missile that was fired? And why? Uh, Shreya, I do believe that politicians in India need to be audited. They need to be asked tough questions. There's nothing wrong at all. If Rahul Gandhi has information... It's not Teli, actually. He belongs to the Ghachi caste from what I read even a lot earlier. But that doesn't actually Ghachi disprove caste the and then larger Teli. point. And then it comes... The, the last word is Teli for that, which is why it's usually referred to as the Teli caste. Right. But I think the larger point remains. I think that is the fundamental point he was making, is that Mr. Modi is not an OBC by birth. That's a point he made. The critical element is... That is not an OBC by birth. I read Akhilesh Yadav's comments where he is also added to that comment mm. by saying that Mr. Modi is not really mentioned him specifically. He's saying many people have become OBC by certificate mm. and not by birth. So basically, even he's kind of making an allegation that, you know, caste has become an instrument which is being manipulated by many people to get access to government services or whatever else it might be. Or, or, you know, for politicians to play the vote bank game. I feel that the real worry that all of us should think about, and I think this is where it's headed, I can tell you, as we look closer to the elections, is that caste is going to be a critical factor. And it's going to be a very crucial issue because mm -hmm. you look at the one number of Bihar where I come from, uh, uh, Shreya, 
I come from Bihar. I happen to be a Brahmin from that state. We are considered to be highly privileged elite who could go out of Bihar or, you know, study, blah, blah. But I cannot deny that I'm aware that large sections of people in Bihar today are backward. If you look at the numbers, Shreya, on the Bihar caste survey, roughly 82 to 83 percent are OBC plus, sh plus scheduled caste Dalits. And I think a smaller percentage is a scheduled tribe. The more disturbing factor that you will worry everybody is that roughly one third of the people of Bihar survive on less than 200 rupees a day. I mean, that's like an extreme poverty case. Mm. And which is why, you know, the worries that people have is that when the government of Mr. Modi has to give almost 57% of people of our country five kilograms of food grams of five years, it's like literally accepting that the backwardness of the poverty in India stands perpetuated for a long time to come and the government is almost thrown up in hands. So I okay. think there are serious problems. We can't really ignore them just because this is becoming a political hot potato. And the truth is this, that political hmm. parties need to debate this instead of making it into some kind of an ad hominem attack on each other. Mm -hmm. Although, you know, this is going to be part of the election, you know, rhetoric. But the truth is that these need, uh, you know, these exposes have to be made. A counter argument can be provided. People can fact check it. But ultimately, the people of India have to know the bottom mm -hmm. line. The bottom line is the OBCs and the, you know, and the scheduled caste and the scheduled tribe. And many people, even from the forward caste, are actually poor. Miss uh, minorities, I think, have suffered enormously. And I think these are conversations of economics and society that need to be had. It's a great pity. I was hearing both these spokespersons but before. Mr. Especially, I think, the BJP uh, lady who huh. came in talking Jai Shri Ram. I think it's about time we had a more mm -hmm. civilized conversation. Mm -hmm. I'm also a Hindu. I'm also proud to say that Bhagwan Ram sabke hai. Stop making everything into some kind of a political slugfest. Let's have a more intellectual vibe once in a while. Okay. M M uh, Mr. Chah, here's the point. I asked you the question, did Rahul Gandhi make a boo-boo? I understand he was bringing up the Prime Minister's caste for a reason. Uh, caste is integral to India's elections. We understand that. But was it a boo-boo? No, you it were wasn't. Actually wrong. No, I it understand wasn't. what you, he was trying today. No, but it, he was factually it, it wrong. It wasn't. It wasn't, Shreya, because I think the seminal point that he made was that Narendra Modi, the Prime Minister of India, mm. is not an OBC by birth. And that stands established. Mm. Okay, but Karan I don't Karan, think the BJP will it has make an impact? That. Uh, uh, the BJP has not contradicted that, have, have they? No, the I don't BJP hasn't. Can. No, the, no, no, they, no they, they haven't. All they have done is put out a gazette saying that it was in 1999, a full two years before Narendra Modi became the chief minister of Gujarat, uh, that his caste was notified as an ABC, but OBC. But Karan Padma, will it even impact the elections? You know, it... it it's, it's been said ever since I was young that in India, when you cast your vote, you vote your caste. But this entire Rahul Gandhi statement about Prime Minister Modi's caste, the fact that the BJP has fact-checked him, it's become a conversation on television sets, etc. In your view, does it even impact the elections? Because fact is that, you, you know, election after election and data after data tells us that people have risen beyond their caste to vote for Prime Minister Absolutely. Modi. Absolutely. And we saw that, Shreya, in the Hindi heartland, where they lost three elections. Congress had raised this caste, caste census bogey before that, and it completely backfired in Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Rajasthan. So we've already seen a trailer of that. And secondly, uh, Mr. Jha made a valid point that we must look at solutions. Now, when we talk of solutions, pointing to the prime minister, whether you were born an OBC or not, that is not a solution. That's a personal attack, in a way. What is a solution is the Prime Minister doling out scheme after scheme, whether it is the mudra loans to 43 crore people, where 51% of the beneficiaries are from SC, ST and OBC. Doling out schemes like PM Swanidhi Yojana, where 75% of the beneficiaries are from lower castes, if you want to look at it that way. Or the mudra loans or so many other schemes, schemes after schemes. So that is finding a solution. You talk about representation. 85 of the 303 MPs of BJP are from OBC. I mean, you look at their ministers, 27 out of the 48 ministers, they are from the OBC community. So the prime minister has, A, 
gone beyond sentiment. Our friend from Congress said, oh, you must understand the sentiment. He's even gone beyond sentiment. He's talked about deliverables. The proof of the pudding lies in the eating. He has uh, articulated schemes. He has made sure they have representation. So if anything, if anything, they want to raise the caste bogey, it is to the advantage of the prime minister because he's delivered the goods. And he also espouses an aspiration where we can look beyond caste where we can talk about Chandrayaan 2, where we can talk about India's own vaccine. So Mr. Modi has walked the talk as well as talked mm. about an aspiration where he looks beyond caste. So I think he's perfectly mm. walked the tight rope, okay. something that Rahul Gandhi is struggling to do. But Mr. Verma, you talk about the fact that, uh, you know, he made this personal. Many people will say it was the prime minister who made it personal by repeated attacks on, on not just Rahul Gandhi, but his entire khandan starting from Pandit Nehru, uh, and not just in the uh, Lok Sabha, in the Rajya Sabha. So that is that is the politics we have to deal with. Cast, yeah. That this he is a no holds barred attack. It's open religion. season, it's election season, it's open season. This is the line. temperament of Indian elections. But Rekha. let me quickly Somewhere. get in. Somewhere you have to draw a Lakshman Rekha. The Prime Minister never attacked no, someone's but... caste or which caste True. you were born into. I don't think that that's called for. I think that's where Mr. Gandhi crossed the line. And my friend um, Sanjay would agree. He doesn't espouse that kind of a conversation himself. It's Mr. another Chah, thing he would you say that. Uh, you, you know, Karan, the, the point... Mr. Chah, do you agree that Rahul was... Gandhi uh, crossed a line? Uh -huh. No, I, I'll tell you what. I think the real political battlefield is really playing out because Mr. Modi's party, we all know, is primarily going to focus on a Hindutva factor. That is the real big story. And I think when they mm. hear of caste, mm. what happens to the BJP is they get, they get very, very apprehensive. Because, you know, when you look at the caste dynamics and people say, excuse me, I am a Hindu, but I, there is a lot of social and economic backwardness we suffer from. And what has the government done? It dismantles, as they say, the entire attempt to try and make a monochromatic definition of Hindutva and include everybody in it. So I think this is now going to become an aggressive political contest. The opposition has to actually look at data points mm -hmm. and articulate that to, by telling people as to whether they have, their lives have truly changed or they haven't, the white paper versus the black paper argument. And I think these will have to be debated in a very, you know, what I call is a meaningful way, because the people are, I think, smart enough to discern the wheat from the shaft. But politicians will indulge in what I call as very aggressive, uh, under the belt, in a hard-hitting statements. You are absolutely right. I was disappointed that, you know, Mr. 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 Modi running down Pandit Nehru, uh, a world statesman who went to jail for India's freedom struggle, led India post-independent when we were still recovering from the partition, built the modern construct of what India has become since, to rubbish him on his last speech in parliament. I thought that was in a very pedestrian taste. Mm. Mr. Mohan Reddy, then come in here very quickly. Uh, the question many people will ask, given the fact that there was a Bharat Ratna that was given to Karpuri Thakur, given the fact, uh, you know, that that being one, uh, has, has the BJP outplayed the Congress when it comes to its caste card? No matter what, whatever the politics we may play, but the real situation on ground will not change. The truth is truth. What people are suffering mm -hmm. today will not change mm -hmm. because what they have suffered in all these 10 years, see, they are going to, they are the judgment factors, right? So people are going to judge. When BJP is trying to play politics on this caste-based awards or whatever, the remarks or whatever it may be, or any politics based on caste. But so is but the, the Congress, the fact is that Prime Minister but Modi so is did the not Congress. What was the promise of, what was the promise of caste census across the country? What was the promise of caste census across the country? Even, even, even in Telangana. And the man who got Telangana, it done first in Bihar Telangana. has now gone on to the BJP, gone with the BJP. So the question I'm asking you is, has the BJP the outplayed the Congress and the India alliance when it comes to the caste factor? I belong to a state where Congress party is in power. And we are stick to this, the commitment hmm. of caste census. And we are doing it. So when, whenever we say a line, we stick hmm. by the promise. Unlike BJP or Narendra Modi, which they never did. Because when they are playing the caste card, our actions should be in synonym, like, you know, go in sync with the with our statements, which we are not seeing that on ground. What about, see, uh, the okay. uh, author, okay. Karan, was saying that everything was fine. 
If that is true, I don't know how we are being rated at 112 out of 117 nations in global hunger index. Why are kids are suffering? Why there is mortality before, below five years? Karan, Why aren't we just... able to feed our own children? So this Karan, just come in here. Karan, any just car. come in here. Yeah. I understand you know, the Prime Minister says that, uh, you know, for me, caste is not OBCs and Dalits, etc. For me, caste is women, caste is Garib, caste is the Kisan. Correct. I understand that. It's, it sounds very good, right? But I want to ask you this, and this is a very simple question that I need to ask you, Karan. Please. If the BJP is so committed to the OBCs, and it says it is committed to the OBCs. The Prime Minister says uh, opposition ko itna bada OBC nahi dikta. He said that in Parliament. Yeah. Then why is the government not releasing data uh, uh, on what the percentage of population the OBC, OBCs constitute in this country? Where is that data? What is the problem? The Congress is saying we are going to do it. We'll have a caste census. And we'll tell the country how many OBCs live in this country, whether they are 60% of the country or 70% of the country, and proportionate to that, we'll give them reservation. Why is the BJP not backing it? Why is the BJP saying nothing doing? Can Why is the BJP not letting the caste data come out? Yeah. So, Shriya, the entire endeavor of the Congress party is to actually exploit the fault lines that exist within our society. And it, it was long before said on 6 September 1990 by Rajiv Gandhi on the floor of the house, where he said the caste divisions and reservations according to it will damage the fabric of our country. It was Rajiv Gandhi who said this, their own Rajiv Gandhi. Mm. The fact is today the mm. prime minister understands mm. two castes and he said it loud and clear, rich and poor. We have to get the maximum number of poor people out of poverty. 13.5 crores came out of multidimensional poverty in the last 10 years and 25 crores in overall poverty sense. So this is the endeavor of the BJP. They don't okay. want divisions happening along caste lines ki inko mila ya unko mila ya kisko mila. If you are poor, if you are in the lower denominator, you will get those and that shows in their beneficiary schemes. I mean, what are they talking about? Uh, look at look at Raven Reddy. When they talk about OBC, the, the gentleman from Congress was talking about Raven Reddy directly in a conclave, abused the Bihari Kurmi DNA. He ridiculed the OBC of Bihar. That is what he did. That shows their love. And how many in the Congress party are at top positions today who are from OBC? Let them give a head count of what kind of, uh, how many CMs do they have over OBC? So the okay. BJP has walked so the know, talk even in terms of representation. Okay. No, so here's the point. Here's 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 where it's ironical and contradictory. The fact is, it is your own government in Maharashtra, led by Ekna Chinde, that has just promised the Marathas quota under the OBC category. So, wo bhi hua hai. Everyone exposes caste, you know, uh, fault lines, whether it's caste or whether it's religion. And the same argument can be made. The argument Personally, you're making for the want Congress that. party Personally, can I be made for the BJP as caste, well. If you ask me. Huh. Even I don't want that. But that is the reality. That is the reality we live in. That's the reality of the times we live in. Yeah. We leave it there for the moment. Thank you very much. Uh, Sanjay Jha, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much, Karan. Mr. Reddy, thank you very much. Anuja, thank you very much for joining us.